and uh, I had a, I, I, you, you know, I was familiar with the instruments like Serangi and Shenhai, and I actually requested those to be in on that session. From a life of rock and roll excess to a legacy as one of the greatest guitarists of all time, Jimmy Page's story is nothing short of legendary. Join me as we delve into the lavish lifestyle and staggering net worth of the Led Zeppelin icon. Jimmy Patrick Page is an English musician who achieved international success as the guitarist and founder of the rock band Led Zeppelin. Page is prolific in creating guitar riffs. His style involves various alternative guitar tunings and melodic solos, coupled with aggressive, distorted guitar tones. It's also characterized by his folk and Eastern-influenced acoustic work. He's also noted for occasionally playing his guitar with a cello bow to create a droning sound texture to the music. To go with musicians that you've never met, there's no Indian arranger there, and to be able to sort of uh, convey what it is that you want. Now let's take a look at his favorite hobbies and interests. He has a Labrador Retriever. He maintains a low profile a lot of the time and refuses to discuss his personal life in interviews. Page, along with the other future members of Led Zeppelin, with the exception of Robert Plant, appeared as the backing band on the Donovan recording, Hurdy Gurdy Man. After Led Zeppelin broke up, Page would not allow anybody to sing Stairway to Heaven during live performances. He would instead play the song as an instrumental. He felt that no one could do the song justice except Robert Plant. His favorite color is blue. He loves Indian food. Incredible players. Te the, te the, te the technicality that, that they had was they were able to play this by approaching their technique to it. Now let's take a look at how he's getting on with his friends and family. Jimmy Page's love life has been a bit of a roller coaster ride. In 1970, he began dating the stunning French model Charlotte Martin, and they were together for over a decade until the early 1980s. Together, they had a daughter named Scarlett Page, born in 1971. In 1986, Jimmy Page married the model and waitress Patricia Ecker, and they welcomed a son, James Patrick Page, in 1988. However, their marriage came to an end in 1995. While on the No Quarter Tour, Jimmy Page met Jimena Gomez Paracha in Brazil, and they fell in love. They got married and had two children together, Zofia Jade and Ashen Yosan, born in 1997 and 1999, respectively. Additionally, Page adopted Gomez Paracha's oldest daughter, Yana. However, their marriage didn't last, and they divorced in 2008. Since 2014, Jimmy Page has been in a relationship with Scarlett Sabbath, a talented poet and actress. Page was born to James Patrick Page and Patricia Elizabeth Gaffigan in the West London suburb of Heston on January 9, 1944. His father was a personnel manager at a plastic coatings plant, and his mother, who was of Irish descent, was a doctor's secretary. I, I had an idea of working in Bombay with uh, the, the musicians, which are the equivalent of like the Bollywood mu musicians, the, the film musicians at the time. With that being said, let's discuss how he earns money. Jimmy Page's guitar skills have brought him more than just fame. His fortune is equally impressive. As one of the richest rock stars globally, he's primarily amassed his wealth from his music career. In 1998, Page was ranked 15th on the list of the world's wealthiest rock stars. He earned $565,000 from the sales of his album The Firm in 1985 and around $572,000 from the album Outrider in 1988. In 1993, Jimmy earned $1.3 million from the album Coverdale, and his 1998 album Walking in Clarkdale added $579,000 to his bank account. Besides music, Page is also earned from brand endorsement deals with famous brands like Fender and sponsored posts on Instagram. Jimmy Page's net worth is estimated to be around $180 million. Now get ready to take a virtual tour of his houses. Jimmy Page is known for his lavish and luxurious lifestyle. In 1967, while still a member of the Yardbirds, 
He bought the Thames Boathouse in Pangbourne, Berkshire, where he lived until 1973. Later, in 1972, he purchased the Tower House in London, which was designed by William Burgess. Page also owned the Mill House in Windsor from 1980 to 2004 and Plumpton Place in Sussex, formerly owned by the owner of Country Life magazine, Edward Hudson. Interestingly, Plumpton Place was featured in the Led Zeppelin film The Song Remains the Same, where Page is seen playing the hurdy-gurdy on the lawn. Nowadays, Page resides in Deanery Garden, a house in Sunning Berkshire designed by Edwin Lutyens for Hudson. And when he isn't relaxing in his mansions, he drives around in one of the following cars. A 1936 Cord 810 Phaeton, A 1978 Ferrari 400 GT. A Bentley MK6. A Mustang. A Cadillac Escalade. A 1966 Ferrari GTB 275. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. Don't go anywhere just yet. Let's take a trip down memory lane and see how this all began. Jimmy Page's family moved to Feltham in 1952 and then to Epsom in Surrey where he attended Epsom County Pound Lane Primary School and then Ewell County Secondary School. He started playing guitar at 12 years old, was mostly self-taught and appeared on the All Your Own Talent Quest program at the age of 13. He left school at 15 to pursue a music career and got his start as a session guitarist in London. In 1965, he was hired as a producer and A&R man at Immediate Records and worked with many famous artists, including John Mayall, Nico, and Clapton. In 1966, Jimmy Page became a member of the Yardbirds, a British rock band that enjoyed modest success. However, real fame came when he founded Led Zeppelin in 1968 from the reconfigured lineup of his former band, the Yardbirds, then known as the New Yardbirds. With Robert Plant as the vocalist, John Paul Jones as the bassist and keyboardist, and John Bonham as the drummer, Led Zeppelin quickly became one of the most iconic and influential rock bands of all time. Led Zeppelin's self-titled debut album was released in 1969, and their unique blend of heavy rock, blues, and folk influences proved to be an instant hit with audiences. Over the next decade, the band would go on to release a string of successful albums, including Led Zeppelin II, Led Zeppelin III, Led Zeppelin IV, and Physical Graffiti. Page wrote much of Led Zeppelin's music and was widely recognized as one of the greatest guitarists of his generation. In addition to his work with Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page has released multiple studio albums as a solo artist or in collaboration with other artists. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. But don't stop here, there's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.